Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing the Victron TR Smart 24 to 12 volt DC to DC charger. This is the bus life. So when we were at Battleborn Batteries, I picked up two of these Victron DC to DC chargers. I'm really liking the Victron stuff. Um, one of the awesome things about it is it's all, almost all of it is Bluetooth. So you can monitor everything that's going on right from your phone or tablet. Um, these are the same way. I'll be able to connect to these with my phone. Basically what these are for is for taking the 24 volt that this bus produces and turns it into 12 volt and charges my Battleborn batteries. So that when the bus is driving down the road, not only do we have the solar, but we also have the power that the engine is generating to charge our batteries. So I wanna go ahead and install these today and get them working. Now I did purchase two of these. That way I am doubling my ampage. So one of these produces 20 amps. I will be able to produce 40 amps when my engine's running, which will give more charging power to the batteries. I'm running out of room in here, but I'm gonna be mounting these, I think, here, somewhere like there, and then the other one there. And then I can connect my power in, and we can go from there. I actually already have a 24 volt cable that's running into this bay, and it's right here. And this cable actually was here I believe from the air conditioning system that used to be on this bus. So it was already pre-ran, it's already here for me, so it makes it a lot easier. Basically, all I have to do is wire in my new chargers. All right guys, so I got both of my Orion Smart DC to DC chargers installed. They're connected to my wall. Um, now all I have to do is connect the power coming from the bus and then connect my outputs going from the charger back to my batteries. This is where I'm gonna bring my main power from my chargers into. So basically it will um, be directly tied in with the batteries here. Alright guys, I got this Victron 60 amp fuse here that I'm going to use for the fuse that goes in my Lynx distributor. And before I can connect in my positive wire here, I need to run my ground uh, all my ground wires are going to come down into here. Now I'm going to connect in my, my power.
All right guys, and the only thing left to do is connect my main power wire into my 24 volt power. So we're gonna go ahead and hook that up. All right guys, so I have the bus running now. It shows I have power to both of my units here. So I've got the Victron Connect app. I'm just gonna click on that. This is what I love about all the Victron stuff is you can have all your devices basically in one place. You can see what each item is doing. Um, here's my two Orion Smart DC to DC chargers. Um, they are in bulk charge mode right now which is cool, which means they're working the way they're supposed to. So I've got 28.39 volts coming in. I've got 13, almost 14 volts going out. The same on each one, which is awesome. Um, I can click into this and I've already, this is what it's gonna look like when you open it up. Um, what I did have to do is I had to come up here to the settings and I had to change the function from power supply to charger and that way it's going to just charge the batteries and this thing is awesome guys no solenoids needed you can go to your battery settings right here it has all your your battery settings it's got engine shutdown detection already set up but um, it's got the start voltage delayed start voltage delayed start voltage delay and the shutdown voltage so once these recognize that the bus is now shut down at 27 volts it will shut the chargers off really really cool because this is this is all you need you just need these for being able to charge your house batteries and connect them to your start batteries they're all automatic no solenoids or anything like that needed um, you can monitor them fully on your on your smartphone in the app I will put the link for these in the video description where you can where you can purchase them they're relatively inexpensive and and really for what you get they're pretty advanced you got a fully automated charging system at a really inexpensive price all right guys so i hope this video has helped you in your electronic system on your own bus conversion or rv uh, please give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos and click that bell so you're notified when we post a video you guys have a great day god bless bye